Hey guys. So first off, I'm really sorry. I haven't been vlogging the last few days. My sister's been in town and um, it's always emotional when she's here. Um, and before that, you know, everything was happening with George Floyd and then just the tumbleweed of things that happened um, was really difficult for me um, because I've had personal experiences with the police, with racism, with um, not against me, but against a lot of the people that I love or the people that I've surrounded myself with. Um, and one of the saddest things my sister told me when she was here, um, sorry, I'm emotional. Um, she, we got out of the pool and her hair was gorgeous because it didn't have any product in it. And, um, my little sister is half black and she has, you know, big, beautiful black hair. And she told me, um, it's so sad. And you guys will probably think it's so stupid that I get emotional about it, but it just breaks my heart. Um, she said, I don't feel comfortable wearing my hair like this where we live because I feel like people would make fun of me. And it's like such a huge part of that culture of, of you know, black culture, a huge piece of it is your hair. It's very important. And um, it just, tore, it, it broke my heart. I can't believe like, I can't really fully understand what it feels like to be so different like that. Um, she lives in a really small area where I grew up. It's very small. It's very much like a hick town. It's very white. There aren't that many black people there at all. Um, and so she's lived a really sheltered life. And so while she was here in Long Beach with me, she was like, oh, I like it here. You know, there's so many black people here. There's hardly anybody that's black where I live. And, you know, I can understand wanting to fit in, definitely, because I've always felt like I didn't fit in. Um, but yeah, overall, we had a great time. She got here on Monday um, and we hung out by the pool. We went out to eat a lot. Um, I worry about her, she just left. I just took her back to the train station. I really worry about her a lot. She's 18 and um, I can't imagine growing up in this generation, um, in her generation. Um, surrounded by social media. Social media is so bad for people mentally. It's like you evaluate yourself on how many likes you get or how many comments you get on your Instagram posts or your how many people see your Snapchat story or and it's really unhealthy <laughs> and I was like so the whole time she's here like she's taking pictures of herself constantly and taking pictures of her food and it, that's totally normal for someone that's 18. Um, and there's nothing wrong with that per se. Um, I think it's really bad for your mental health. And I also think that you miss out on so much of your life when you're constantly thinking about showing this to someone that's not there. Um, rather than enjoy the moment you're sitting there trying to take pictures and da 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 da. Like, and so, like, I go, hey, how come you never want to take, like, any pictures with me? You know, because I was kind of, like, butthurt. I was like, man, she doesn't even want to take a picture with her sister. And um, she's like, oh, I'm sorry. You know, I just have, you know, I take so many selfies. She said even her boyfriend was like, how come you never want to take pictures with me? Um, but she's like, I just take um, a lot of selfies. She's like, see, look, my phone is all selfies. I take one every day. And I was like... Like, every day you're taking multiple selfies. Like, that's so bad for your self-esteem. Like, you should know you're drop-dead gorgeous and there's no one to impress and you don't need to see every angle of yourself. Like, what are you looking for at that point? Like, 
What are you looking for when you're constantly taking your picture over and over again? And the only way that I can really relate to that is um, right after my accident, when I had that issue with my eye because I, like I had a brainstem injury and my eye would like lazy a lot of the times and it still doesn't look like it did before my accident, but I had to get a couple of surgeries to fix it. And the first surgery looked really crazy because when I was like, ah, and then the other one was like normal. <laughs> and so, um, I had to get another one. It's still not perfect, but you know, it is what it is. And I've had to accept what I look like now. Um, and I think we all put too much value on how we look. Um, but yeah, um, when I was experiencing really low self-esteem from just recovering from my manic episode and, you know, dealing with court and jail and fines and probation and family anger and damaged relationships and having to mend them. On top of that, I have like this thing on my eye and I hate the way I look outside and I hate the way I feel inside. So I was trying to, I don't know what I was looking for. You know, I just like, I kept like being like, oh, maybe if I do this, my eyes will look normal, da, da, da. So I just, I hope that she's not insecure. Um, and I hope that she doesn't get too wrapped up in, in how she looks. Um, <clears throat> because when I was in my like early twenties, I was super self-absorbed and kind of vapid and just, you know, totally different from than I am from how I am now. And that's perfectly normal. Like every, I think everyone goes through a selfish kind of vapid stage in their life at some point, especially when you're young. Um, but yeah, I was, I was trying to talk to her about it and I was like, you know, I just always think about, cause we would, Jeff and I went to Coachella one year and we were like watching Beyonce and it was a great show. And I looked down and there's these two girls just sitting on like this concrete. And during the entire show, they were just flipping through their phone, <clears throat> looking at pictures they had taken of themselves. And I was like, oh my God, that's so sad. Like the world is happening around you and you are um, somewhere else worried about how you look or how your image, how your image is presented to the world or what is the perfect picture to put on Instagram. It, it's, it's damaging. Um, but anyway, I'm always sad when she leaves. Um, but she's gonna come back soon. So um, yeah, this video is really long, I'm sorry you guys. But anyway, on the note of what I'm talking about, if you haven't checked it out yet, M, M, M Kaleli, I, I think that's how you say it, but check out my friend's channel. Um, I mentioned her, I think in the last video, um, but she does ukuleles and she has a song that's like exactly what I'm talking about right now. So. Um, if you haven't checked that out yet, check it out. Um, anyways, other than that, um, thank you to you guys for, if you're subscribed and you've been watching, thank you so much for, you know, listening to me rant. Um, anyways, but I will definitely see you guys tomorrow. I'm going to be back on track again. I know I took kind of a intermediate hiatus, but, um, I'm back. So anyways, uh, thank you so much and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.